My name is Sean Cavanaugh. I'm a senior consulting engineer here at Cumulus Networks. For this video, we're going to talk about trunk ports. Trunk port is a port that carries multiple VLANs. It is a IEEE standard 802.1Q. There's always going to be tagged VLANs and there's going to be one native VLAN that is the untagged VLAN on that port. So what we're going to do is we're going to show the command line interface for both a Cisco Nexus device, a Cumulus device, and then the rendered config that's created on both of them. Here I am on a Cisco Nexus device. I'm gonna go into configuration mode with the configure terminal. I'm gonna go into interface mode with an int E13 for ethernet port three. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this port into a layer two port, if it's not already one. So I'm gonna make it a switch port. Then I'm gonna do switch port mode trunk. And then I can actually filter what VLANs I want in this trunk. So I can do switch port trunk allow VLAN one through 1000. I also need to create the VLANs on Cisco. So I need to do, I can exit back to global configuration mode. I can do VLANs one through 1000. So I'd actually create all 1000 of those VLANs. You'll see that takes a second to come back because I haven't made them all on this box. I can verify the configuration with a show run int E13. So it just shows me the configuration for that one port. We can see now it's a layer two port with allowed VLANs. And we can also do a show VLAN. We can actually see all 2000 VLANs on every port that's a layer two port, including this ETH 1.3 that I just set up. Here I am on a Cumulus Linux device. I'm going to make switch port three a trunk port carrying uh, 2000 VLAN. So I'll do a net add interface switch port three, and then I can tab and we're gonna go into the bridge layer two config mode, and then we're gonna do trunk. And then this is where we can put VLANs and then we put the range. So we can literally just do one through 2000. I can do a net pending since the config is now staged. We can see that not only did it turn switch port three into a trunk port for those 2000 VLANs, but it actually created those VLANs for us as well. And then I can do a net commit to push the config live. And then we can do a uh, net show interface switch port three. And we can see that this is a 10 gig port. It is all VLAN port, uh, it says trunk L2, but it's two through 2000 VLANs with the native VLAN being one. Right now the, the actual port's physically down, so nothing's actually forwarding, but we've configured the port correctly. We can also do a net show configuration interface, switch port three, and we can go look at the configuration that it actually rendered. So let's do a high level where we compare them side by side. So first I'm gonna kind of go in reverse order. Here's Cumulus Linux where I just do the net add interface, switch port three, and then I go into the layer two config with the bridge command and then do a trunk. And the rendered config looks like this. With the Cisco device, I'm going to go and configure terminal. I'm gonna go under ethernet one three, and I'm gonna use switch port mode trunk, and then I can filter if I desire. Otherwise it's gonna inherit all VLANs. And the rendered config looks like this. Thank you for listening.